This is the southeast corner of Arizona, near Sonoida, a wide spot at the intersection of U.S. Highways 82 and 83. On this late autumn day, there are people down there taking advantage of the mild weather. On ATVs, there are people on horseback and people with nets. I love to hunt in this area. I love to just hike. I'm a hiker. I love to hike and I, I do. I don't hunt as much as I used to when I was younger. I love to hike now. I'll explain the nets in a moment. This is Chris Klein a few days earlier in Phoenix at the Desert Botanical Garden. He's relating once again how he left Indiana and found his calling in Arizona. Klein makes his living as the education director at Boyce Thompson Arboretum near Superior but he's using the entire state as his laboratory and working to chase his passion. Klein is the founder of the Southwest Monarch Study. The migratory habits of the monarch butterfly are its focus. But it's almost like a little mystery because nobody really knows what the southwestern monarchs, where they're going, and what their path is, or what their behavior is. So it's, it's, it's like a pages not yet overturned to understand what's going on. This group is helping tag farm-raised monarchs. The job is simple. Place small blue stickers on the underwing of the insect, then let it go and wait for interested people to report where they end up. On the tag is printed the number and an email address. While tagging a butterfly might not be as difficult as a grizzly, it is no less important. It's a challenge, sure. Now it's important, learning a little bit more about it. Anything's nature. It's just, if it's going to help them to be more with us, then it's important, sure. Because, you know, there's just so much that we don't know about monarchs here in the Southwest. A lot of scientists think that, that monarchs here in the Southwest work just like they do in the East, and I don't think they do. And, and so, you know, it's just that much more research that we have to do to, to answer those questions as well. So, you know, we just keep adding questions. <laughs> Klein is challenging the accepted theory that monarchs who live west of the Rocky Mountains migrate only to the coast of California, while those living east of the Rocky Mountains migrate to a range around Mexico City. Arizona's placement below the Rockies leaves the scientific community unsure where southwestern monarchs migrate, or if they migrate at all. Over 3,000 have been tagged so far with recoveries from places as far away as Mexico City. Klein also tags wild-caught butterflies, which brings us to the people with the nets. Um, I actually, when I was really young, um, read an article about the um, area that they uh, winter in, in Mexico, and I understand that there is, they've got some significant challenges with that area down there. Um, right now due to some logging issues and, and growth issues and things like that. So I think it's really important for us to know where they're going and why they're going there and why they need those places um, so that we can kind of better understand why we maybe need to protect those places, especially since things are going to be facing new and different challenges with the global climate change. Klein often <laughs> leads groups like this one into the fields to capture, tag, and release yes, these yes. insects. Okay. Meticulous notes are taken of every you capture to better paint the, the picture of the animal's trip from here to there, okay. wherever <laughs> there may be. Each tagging includes the location. The highway and the first big sycamore, then I can actually get on the internet and I can figure out the GPS data. A general description of the butterfly's condition. Does it look fresh and brand new like it just emerged? day before yesterday or does it look like it got hit by a truck okay or is it some degree in between okay this one is fresh and brand new and whether it's male or female so this is a male okay and we know that because and I might have to pass him around so folks can see if you look at this vein right here okay at the corner of my of my sheet there you see how we've got a nice smooth kind of bottom line on that vein and then there's kind of a dark blemish on the underneath side of that vein. Okay, well if we pried that wing open what you would see on the other side of that little blemish is that big black dot. Okay, so once again so when you're looking at the underneath side it's a whole lot trickier 
to tell male from female, but it can still be done. So what we're looking at is that blemish right there at the corner of my little piece of paper. Now does it matter what side you're looking at? No, each, both, either side should have that same yep. blemish. The volunteers come from all walks of life and all with their own reasons. Just the nature, like it's more peaceful out here, it's away from civilization, <laughs> sort of. Um, but it, it, just being around like nature, the flowers, the, the wind and the rocks, the dirt, the trees and the insects, it's just fun. I'm intrigued by monarch butterflies and I'm intrigued by their pattern of migrating and I'm just very curious as to what they do in Arizona. We were very aware of what they do further east in the United States and further west. We're not quite sure what's happening here and I find it intriguing that we see them one day and not another and it'd be a great way to take some time to study their behavior and learn a little bit more about their habits in our world. Klein says it can't be done without the volunteers. I would tag monarchs pretty much for the rest of my career, but whether we'd actually find the answers that we're looking for is hard to say, because I mean, I could maybe get 100 or 200 in a season where I've got uh, volunteer Joe Billings here who's closer to this you know, to the area where the monarchs are, so he's able to tag, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred at a time. Um, you know, Martha, she's down in this neighborhood, she's able to get a hundred or so every season. So, uh, you know, volunteers are critical in having their eyes so that, um, you know, I have people reporting to me so I don't have to waste my time going to places that aren't going to pan out to anything. So, volunteers are critical. For more information on the Southwest Monarch Study, contact Chris Klein at swmonarchs at yahoo.com. And the next time you're whizzing by on an expressway or down a country road, take a closer look. There may be research going on.